at this radial lines effect. It's quite an intriguing looking effect, but it's really quite simple to do. So let's make a start on it. So let's come over to our project setup. I'm going to just make this 1080 square because it's a, a circular effect. Probably makes more sense like that. And I'm using 24 frames a second and I've got a duration of 30 seconds. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is come over to the library and generators and I'm going to grab the gradient and drop it in. Open up the gradient editor, switch it to radial, set this Y start to zero and this Y end to negative 540. I'm going to add a stylized posterized and what this will do is make this actually steppy, which is actually quite a nice effect, I think. So I've gone with 20 levels there. And then I'm going to add a color and hue saturation and take out all the color. And then I'm just going to add a color tint. And let's just pick something like this and possibly reduce the brightness a bit. And then actually it might also just come to this generator and swap those two colors. And I can do that by clicking on this button here, the one at the top of these two at the bottom here. So that like that. And then I'm just gonna make this one, I think probably quite a bit darker. Anyway, just a fun idea for a, a different sort of background. Okay, so let's close that one up and let's add a new group. And into this group, I'm going to add a circle. So I'm going to hold down the shift and option key and draw it a small circle like that. Come over to geometry. I'm gonna make this six pixels in radius. I want to come over and center it up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a replicator out of this. So object replicate. I'm going to switch the shape to line and I'm just going to zero out these two values here. And then I'm going to open up the start and end point. And what I want to do is I want to add an oscillate behavior to the X and Y start and end. So that's four oscillates. So add parameter behavior oscillate, quickly go through and do that. So that's all done. They've each got an oscillate on them and I'm just going to quickly label those as well. So you'll see I've labeled those in ascending order, small x and small y and big x and big y. And the reason for that is going to become obvious in just one second. So I'm just going to make a guide here just so you can see what's happening. So I'm going to make a new group. I'm going to take the circle tool and I'm going to draw out another circle like that and I'm going to center it up and then I'm going to come over and just turn on the outline and I'm going to make this circle 100 pixels and then I'm going to duplicate it, right click duplicate and I'm going to make this other one 400 pixels and really this is just a guide to, to explain to you what, what we're doing here. So I'm going to come to these small oscillators. We're going to set the Y phase to 33 and the amplitude of 100 by 100 is good because that's actually what we want. And then I want you to see what happens. Uh, you can see that that one is going around the perimeter of the small circle. So we just need to do the same thing with the large one. So I'm just going to hide those two, give myself a bit of space. And I'm going to set this amplitude to 400 and this one here to 400 as well. And then again, I'm just going to offset the phase of the Y. So I'm going to go for 33 for the phase. And now I think you'll see that those two are tracking around like that. So it's offsetting the phase in that way that causes the two ends of the replicator to move in perfect circles. So we actually want them not to be tracking in perfect sync. So I'm going to hide these two large ones and open up the two small ones. And I'm going to set the speed of the small ones to 30. So 30 for both of them. And then I think you'll see what's happening is that we're getting this sort of differential movement. And this is what's going to create our nice effect. So then I'm going to come back to the replicator and I'm going to set these points to 100. And that makes, as you can see, a continuous line. So let's tidy this all up a bit. I'm going to just do, do a bit of renaming here. So I've called my background group BG, and then I've called this group with a replicator in it, oscillating line. I'm going to close that one up. And the guide, I've called guide, and we can actually turn that off. That was just a guide for explaining what we're doing. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this oscillating line group, I'm going to set it to fixed resolution, and I'm going to come to object and make clone layer. And then I'm going to take that clone 
and I'm going to come to Object and Replicate. Let's turn off that original oscillating line group. We don't need that anymore. And then let's select for this new replicator a line for the shape. And let's set the start and end points to zero on X. So we've got to zero for all of those values. And then let's have, I think 29 is the right number of points. And I'm just going to come down here to the source frame offset. And I think I'm going to set that to five. And then if we press play, you see we're getting this effect. Now, it doesn't look like much yet, but that's because what we're going to do is we're going to take this group, we're going to set it to fixed resolution, and we're going to come to filters and distortion, and we're going to come down to twirl. And I think now you can see what's going on here. What we actually need is a negative twirl, and I'm going to go for something like negative 480. So we've got something like that, but you can pick any number for that. It will go all the way up to negative 720, and you get this very, very tight arrangement. So I think I'm going to stick with four, negative 480. And I'm also going to turn on crop. So let's now give it some color. Let's come back to our replicator. Let's set the color mode to over pattern. And from this menu here, the gradient menu, let's scroll down and choose rainbow. And let's open it up. And what I want to do is shunt this one over here and then take this red one from the end here and then option drag it all the way to the right there. And then you'll notice there's a button at the bottom here and that enables us to spread the tabs evenly. I click on that and that evenly spreads the tabs. So then we've got it looking like this. The other thing I'd like to do here in this replicator is turn on additive blend. And you can see how that makes for a much better result here because those are being added rather than just sitting on top of each other. If I toggle that on and off. Okay, so one other thing I'd like to do is come back to my oscillating line here and my replicator. And I think I want to come to the opacity gradient here and click here on the top to set a new position. And I'm going to set that down to not quite zero, but, but just so the ends of the lines fade off. I hope you can see the difference there. So that's fully, fully fading off. And that's what they used to be. And I just think that, that makes it a little bit more interesting that they're kind of fading off like that. What we can also do, I think, is just knock back the color of this. So let's come to this group here, add a hue saturation and pull back on the color to something like that. And another thing I'd like to do is come to filters and blur and radial blur. Now we don't want 30 degrees, we want 20 degrees, and we want to knock back that mix value to something like 50. And that just helps to kind of soften it all off, make it look a bit smoother and more interesting. There's just one thing I'm not happy with, and that's the way I set up this replicator. I got the numbers a little bit wrong. So what I want to do is I want to change the number of points and also the source frame offset. So let's first of all set the number of points to 20 and let's come down to the source frame offset and set that to six. And what that does, I hope you can see, is it kind of joins these up much more effectively. So we've got a real nice kind of flowing continuity through that shape. And that is pretty much it. Thanks very much indeed for watching. See you again soon.